above her and the stars within, guided by a force greater than her, a purpose with determination, with the safety of the universe, hers to protect, with the safety of the universe, hers to enclose, all its children in the freedom of their desires. She walks straight and held up high by some strange puppeteers with their message. She walks looking upwards on her hand to a vision of the future. Looking upwards on a hand to a vision of the future Forever hopeful So this is by award-winning writer Shamila uh, Chuan, When the Sky Clears. The storm swept over the ocean. Droplets of water drizzled, then pounded them into the shifting blue mass, turning it grey. The clouds carried the maladies of far-off places, voices, tears and heartbreak, and then showered them into the water. The girl stood by the window, listening in the darkness. The house was filled with different sounds, laughter, chattering and playing children. Women danced from room to room, carrying saris, makeup and perfume, depositing them on beds, chairs and even the floor, wherever they could find space. Communal grooming was accompanied by shrieks as lewd jokes and gossip were shared. It was still dark, although Threads of light were beginning to pull through the sky. The nocturnal preparations seemed surreal to the girl. The other houses in their small cove were only beginning to awaken, yet hers seemed as if it had never slept. She sighed. Despite her prayers, it seemed that nothing had changed. The day had begun without her. She went into her bathroom and washed. Then putting her nightie back on, she decided it was time to see her sister. She crept into the hallway. Hi, you're not even ready yet, huh? One Massey called from one of the bedrooms, pulling her by the hand. I don't need to get ready, the girl protested. But her aunt's hands were strong as she held the girl by the wrist. Of course you do. Who is going to welcome the John? You think the groom can come and get your sister without paying you something? Her Massey pinched one, then the other cheek. The girl squirmed, and her Massey laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Close your eyes. The girl felt a flannel on her face, and then a towel. Ah, you didn't even wash your face properly, her Massey complained. Now take off your nighty chi. Her aunt muttered complaints as she inspected the girl's underwear. The two other Masseys joined in, and the three of them, each equally plump, with neatly folded saris arranged across their generous bosoms, dressed the girl, talking among themselves throughout. Are, do you think Anita will wear one of her green numbers today, huh? Who knows, but they're all equally dreadful, huh? Oh, if only she'd say, see somebody about her face, those spots really need a specialist. I hear they're looking for a boy now. She, a boy. She's been, the oldest Massey whispered something. I can do it myself, the girl wriggled. No, no, how can you do this, hmm? They jostled her, pulling on her petticoat and tying a knot at the waist. Ah, it is too tight. The girl pulled at the waistband. It has to be tight or your sari will fall off. It hurts. 
the first Masi pulled the blouse around her shoulders and smothered it down her back. Go and eat first and then find your foy. She'll put on your sari. I don't want to. Foy's fingers are too rough. Can you do it, please, Masi? The aunts conferred, smiling. The girl knew she had pleased them by her allegiance to her maternal aunts. The younger masses nodded as they were called away. Okay, okay, come back, hmm? The oldest masi agreed. But wait, let me do some of your makeup. You won't look like a big girl, no? The girl closed her eyes. There was the tickle of a brush on her face and then the gentle smoothing of her eyelids. My name is Mehrunissa Asad and uh, I'm an inlay artist. Uh, I'm part of Saucy's uh, annual show this year. And uh, I'm working to conserve uh, 16th century Italian technique, inlay technique, called Pietra Dura. 
Hi, I'm Sonia Mehta. I'm the co-founder of Saucy London, which is South Asian Women's Creative Collective. We put this event on tonight to platform and make visible creative women in London and uh, women who have come to London to show their work. Um, that's what we do, that's what we do best. Um, we collaborate with Rich Mix um, quite often and um, the theme of tonight's event is uh, celebrating women in safety in public spaces and um, our pledge tonight is to make women more visible and create more creative platforms for them. My name is Tanuja Desai Idie and I am a writer musician. Um, my first novel is called Born Confused. It's a cross-cultural coming-of-age story set in New York and I am now working on the sequel which is set in Bombay a few years later and as well as an album to accompany the sequel of songs um, connected to the story. So that's what we were performing. Uh, we were performing tonight. I'm in a band here with Marie Tweje. We're called Angels with Whips and we were doing songs from um, the new album connected to the new book. Tonight's event is pretty amazing. Uh, there's so many people here today and it's been one of those where like you get texts throughout the day and like people are saying are you going to be coming today and like you sometimes think they're not going to show up but everybody's here and it's been really packed and it's been just really interesting to see all the diverse people up on stage. There's been so many different types of artists and it's been really interesting.